last session we have created a trial account for cloud foundry in sap btp we also installed cloud foundry command line interface to interact with our cloud foundry account with this we are ready to deploy our first application into cloud foundry for that i have created a simple application that will take a customer name and greet the customer down the line we shall add more features in this code and we shall deploy those things into cloud foundry now to deploy it first we need to do a clean build to generate the jar file which we did now let's see how this application works in local so if i go localhost 9001 and the swagger then it's a new account and we provide a customer name so i gave my name and execute it will tell hello amit welcome let's try this thing in the browser also so we get hello amit welcome our application is working perfectly in local now we shall deploy it into our cloud foundry dev space let me close this um, tabs and see i am in that within the target folder let's uh, just yes, view the list within this target folder we have the jar file created now we need to give a yeah we are in the right directory so just make sure i uh, logged in into the right cloud foundry instance so just let me log out and log in again in fact i was in the right foundation so cf login and i can take the url from here let me click it and copy the cloud foundry api url and let's log in it should be the email id with which we registered sap btp and the password for the trial account and we logged in into our cloud foundry instance now let's push our application so cf push will deploy our application into cloud foundry so the command is cf push and then application name then the path of the jar file and let's push it this should fail and i shall explain you why it will fail and then we shall correct it it is deploying it into cloud foundry and it is failed let's look at the log with the cf logs command and if you see this is unsupported class version error that means we have compiled this code with higher version but in the cloud foundry has a lower java version so the reason is that by default cloud foundry is using java 1.8 but our code is compiled with java 11 let's see, see this because of that we are facing this issue and if we see in the cloud foundry our retail bank application is pushed but it's an error there is an error our application is not started if we see the user provided environment variable there is nothing is there now to fix this error we need to add an environment variable which should tell cloud foundry that we need to use java 11 that i can use from here but i prefer to do it in the command line so for that cf set environment application name and the variable that we want to set 
So we set the environment variable. Now let's restage the uh, retail bank application. The command is cf restage retail bank. And the application is started this time. So let's, re let's go to our Cloud Foundry instance and just see this one. Now the application is started. And if you see user provided variable, it has JBP config open JDK JRE, the environment variable has set up. Now let's access our application with this URL. And I need to give Swagger UI slash index.html. And let's try it out. Give the customer name and execute. It is working perfectly. Let us execute it into the browser also. And it works fine. I change the. Now, let's see what are the command we have executed again. So, first, we pushed the application but we encountered an error then we set the environment variable for jdk and then we restage the application but that is we need to ex follow three steps but is there a easy and better way to deploy our application yes there is an easy and better way to do, do the deployment and we shall look into this into our in our next sessions. So till then, thank you for your time and please like, share and subscribe. We shall meet in the next session. Thank